I don't think any girl in her right mind would be like, Heavenly Father, all your creations are jerks. They're all stupid. Right? Yet that we throw around those terms about boys so often. I hear girls, all boys are jerks. All boys are stupid. I hate boys. Right? I was listening to the radio the other day. It seemed like every song by a girl was like, I dug my key into his truck, right? Since you've been gone, I've been so much better, right? <laughs> Everything. We just are treating boys this way, like they're just awful, awful people. And some of them do awful, awful things, but they are God's what? Crowning creation. Now, what are you? When that boy goes out on that date, who is he going on a date with? Who are you really? Well, here's what President Hinckley said, if we go back to our quote. He says, but the process was not complete. Mm. <laughs> and so Eve became God's final creation, the grand summation of all the marvelous work that had gone before. That girl sitting next to you and that girl sitting in the chair you're in is not just a girl. It is God's final creation. You ever heard the term, save the best for last? It is God's final creation, the grand summation of all the marvelous work that had gone before. When God was choosing what to create first and last, he was like, hmm, let's create the earth. I know that's incredible and beautiful. Let's create that. But last, let's create a woman. That is the most beautiful thing of all. And as such, the adversary hates you. Now, I would love to say, girls, it's going to get easier. The adversary, he's going to lay off for a little while. He's not. So sometimes you got to put your hair in a ponytail and say, bring it on, right? <laughs> Don't curl up in a fetal position and be like, I hate this world. It treats women so badly. Yes, it does. Stand up and fight, right? Yes, it does. So stand up and fight.